All right, this is Steve from the New Money Fight Club. I am here with the legendary Gilbert Melendez. Thank you so much for taking the time, sir. Yeah, no, it's good to be here. Great night tonight, SF Combat. Always put on a great show. Yeah, you got three fighters on the card, right? Absolutely. I got Toby, I got Bryson, and I got Miles. Uh, so far, we're one on one tonight. Toby came up short a little bit, got held down. Uh, a little frustrated, not because we lost, but because we know how to get off a of bottom. A uh, little learning experience there. Bryson did an amazing job. Fought here last time, yeah. came up short, fought his ass off, did a great job. Yeah, that was a dog fight. It was a dog fight, you know, and I think he's uh, he's sometimes reckless and will take a lot of punches just to give two to you. And this time, I think he was way more patient and picked the shots. I was proud yeah, of him. Yeah, he's learning. So these guys, when they at the amateur level, when they take a loss, they come back to the lab with you and you're finding all the weaknesses and helping them to improve. Absolutely, we always gotta take lessons from it here and, and we gotta learn from it whether we win or lose, we take what we get and, and we make those adjustments. Uh, for instance, you know, Bryson had to fight a tall guy. How do you fight a tall guy? Oh, you got a double jab. You can't just throw a one-two because you're gonna be out of range. So you learn these new things, chopping the leg, you know? Oh, you fight someone who has a good back take, you really work on your back escape. So you level up through those experiences. Well, you have so much experience too, so I'm sure you got a lot of wisdom to pass down to the guys, you know? Absolutely, It's uh, it's uh, I'm at a giving stage in my life. You know, yeah. I've done a lot of competing, focus on myself, now I'm putting these guys first. It's my birthday today, but yet I'm here because this is super important to Happy me. Happy birthday, them. sir. Thank you, thank you. Man, it's great, I get to interview you. How old are you? I'm 42 years old now. In your prime, man, yeah. in your prime. Thank you, brother. And that is true, now you're coaching, got El Nino, right? And some other schools, right? Yeah, yeah, I have, uh, El Nino Training Center is the Scrap Pack HQ. Uh, we also have uh, Scrap Pack Marina. I have an affiliate in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and in Bakersfield as well. And we're trying to get a third of the mission going right now. Nice. And so you're just going to be making the rounds to your schools? Absolutely. And yeah. I think without overextending myself, four in the city will be good. Yeah, uh, my, so. my other brothers are doing well where they're at. And uh, yeah, we I think we got a good community, authentic fighting, even a gospel and how to be a, a good warrior in our, in our point of view. We've interviewed a few fighters from the Scrap Pack guys, the El Nino guys, and they're always very respectful, great guys, great character. We really love talking to them. You're also in a stage, too, where you're working for LFA, ESPN, you're doing some promoting, color commentary, and now we've got Fight Night at the Tech, right? Yes, yes. Tell us about it. Yeah, really excited about Fight Night at the Tech. Uh, you know, just an MMA fight league, right? You know, I think we need more in San Francisco, more in the Bay Area in general, along with SF Combat. Uh, but our goal is to identify the best talent in, San, in the Bay Area and challenge them and build them. And uh, same with veterans. There's some really good veterans who've really like established themselves in the community and they deserve a stage to perform. And we really want to bring it out and you know fork up some more cash, make a really good platform. The Tech CU is a beautiful arena. Yeah, and is. we're going to do it in a ring. And that's like how the sport started. That's how and you used to do it. I used yeah. to do it in Pride and Shoot Out, Pancrase, yeah. they did it. And in my opinion, it'll increase the action. But I love the cage and I'm not against the cage and there will always be a cage in MMA. So this is going to be not just MMA fights too. I think I saw there's going to be Muay Thai fights as well, right? Absolutely. It's going to be Muay Thai, kickboxing, and MMA. Love it. And, you know, Daniel Compton's an MMA guy, and he's fighting Charles Rodriguez, a Muay Thai guy. So there's guys that you want to be able to do both, right? I could be a Muay Thai champion, an MMA champion, fight night at the Tech. I, hopefully that can be our goal one day. That would be incredible. So you're working with this uh, with Scott Coker, right? Yeah, Scott Coker is someone who's been my promoter for years, yep. and I expressed to him I want to do a fight show and I want to do my own thing because I have a lot of fighters who need a you know a show to fight on, you know? And these guys do a great job. Sometimes I'm like six fighters on this show and yeah. six waiting in the stable, you know? And and we need more. Not only that, we need more, 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 more. And, and you know, teaming up with Scott Coker, him giving me the opportunity uh, to be like an apprentice and be side by side, it's a great opportunity yeah. and, uh, and I'm enjoying it. To be mentored for a guy like, by, by a band like that, to become a promoter, yep. very lucky. Absolutely. You know, for those that don't know him, he's one of the best promoters in combat sports history. He had the very first show in California at SAP Center and I was on it. That's right. It's so cool after he sold Bellator and now this is his next venture, right? Yeah. With you. Yeah, yeah. He, sold, he sold Strike Force. He worked for Bellator, got it up to work 200 million. And now this is, you know, we're going to, he's helping me out with this. He might be cooking something else out in the future, but that's on him. 
Yeah, amazing team. We will definitely be there. We were really, I saw that whole card. It looks incredible. Really exciting. Great contribution at Bay Area Martial Arts and just martial arts in general. Thank you, Gilbert Melendez, for taking the time to do a quick interview with Thank us. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, sir. Enjoy the fights and good luck with the rest of the night. New Money Fight Club. We're out with Gilbert Melendez.